By a show of hands, do you lock your door when leaving your house? Do you use a different key to your house and to your office? Do you lock your computer when leaving it unintended? <laughs> do you check an email? Do you check a link inside an email before clicking on it? Do you use a different password for your computer and to your Facebook account? Okay, I'm glad a lot of you answered yes, but not all of you answered yes to these last three questions. And because of you, 90% of all cyber attacks are successful. Because you, <laughs> because you clicked on a malicious link and because you use weak passwords and because you do not install security updates. In the cyber world, we are naive and we see no real danger. We think it will never happen to us, and even if it did, so what if they have access to my computer? I have nothing to hide, right? But today I'm going to show you that you do have something to hide. And because of this naive behavior, the cyber criminal will, can use it. I'm going to show you how by performing a life hack. The first step of a cyber criminal is reconnaissance. And much like planning a robbery, where the criminal will explore the surroundings of the house he wants to rob, the mind of a cyber criminal works exactly the same. So the first step of a cyber criminal is simply Google. Today, we're going to hack Christina Brassard. And Christina is a pretty girl who could be living right next door to you. So remember, everything you put online will stay online forever. And everything that is visible to you is also visible to the cyber criminal. So I see a lot of pictures of Christina. Here's, here's a beautiful picture of her and her mom. And I can see that she has her own website, a photography website. And on her website, I can find her mobile phone number and her business email. But if I dig a little bit deeper and I want to know who registered her website, I can find her personal email address, which is christina.spanje.life.nl. I also saw that she linked her Facebook account with her website. And now I can maybe find something about her connection, who she knows. I can find a recommendation left by Gina Duki, who says, beautiful pictures, thank you so much, Christina, shall we link? So the cyber criminal does not only gather information about you, but also about your network. And this information is to create and, and target the attack because the cyber criminal wants to trick Christina in performing an action to gain access. And this is called phishing. So the next step is the attack. This is the mailbox of the cyber criminal. And he prepared an email, a phishing email, to send to Christina which is a linked invitation from Gina to Christina, because he's, he just read on the Facebook account that they want to link. So he can use this information in the phishing email. And he will send it to christina.spanje at live.nl, also information he just found in the reconnaissance phase. So this is the laptop of Christina. And when, they, when pressing send, she will receive the email. Christina is working, and she sees this email and thinks, OK, this is a LinkedIn invitation. I know Gina. She's a cybercrime specialist. I can trust her. <laughs> so she press accept. 
At this point, she doesn't seize the website that she was expecting to see, but she doesn't mind and she just continues working. So this part is the most disturbing of the attack because you are totally oblivious of what is going on. And unlike a robbery to your house where you may find a shattered window, you will not see any real trace of the cyber attack. So when Christina clicked on the link, the cyber criminal got full access to her computer. And not only what is on her computer, but also think about iCloud, OneDrive, or Dropbox that is synchronized to on your computer. So the last step of the attack is exfiltration. The cyber criminal is going to look for information that he can use. And I'm going to show you. So the cyber criminal has access to everything on the computer of Christina, like pictures. Maybe holiday pictures to sunny Mexico in your bikini, or even sexy pictures, sexy bedroom pictures that you send to your boyfriend. And I will also show you that these pictures are on Christina's laptop. So these pictures can be used for sextortion or even sell them to sex websites, and you don't even know about it. The next step of the cyber criminal is to see what Christina is doing. And Christina is typing an email to her best friend, saying, here's my password, can you order these shoes for me? Christina thinks she's smart by saving all of her password to a notepad file on her computer. And some people do this. Some people also email their password, so I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> and she copies the password, and at the same time, the cyber criminal wants to see what Christina is doing, and he simply takes a screenshot. Now the cyber criminal has access to her passwords, and you can see that Christina didn't use uh, really strong passwords, <laughs> and she also used the same password for asas.com and salando.com. And the next thing, she received was an email from Solando. Thank you for your order. And the cyber criminal ordered 750 euros on man clothes on, with the account of Christina. So this was actually a, a real attack. The last thing the cyber criminal wants to do is to see what Christina is doing. And see what does she look like by taking over the webcam. <laughs> and he can even watch you. <laughs> okay, now it's me behind the laptop, but you can imagine if it's Christina. So the cyber criminal can access passwords, all of the files, and even watch you uh, on your webcam. And I showed you now just an attack of one individual, but imagine if it is a company or even a hospital affecting lives. So just this month, the hospital of Aruba was attacked by cyber criminals, and they had to cancel all of their operations. Are you panicking yet? <laughs> well, don't, because I am here to show you to, how to take back control over your own digital information because you are ultimately responsible for your own cybersecurity. I'm going to show you three things today, three tips that you can do today to prevent that 90%. The first is to use Password Manager. And Password Manager is a tool where you only need to remember your master password, and you can save all other passwords. So unlike Christina, use strong passwords, Remember, if a password is easy to remember, it is easy to hack. And use different passwords for each account. With a password manager, you can easily copy-paste 
the password and login. The second tip is to use two-step verification. And most of the applications now have has this option, and I will show you it in LinkedIn. You go to account, settings and privacy, go to account. And you can see the two-step verification and turn it on. This means that you do not only need your password to log in, but also a code that is sent through your phone, for example. And this means that if the cyber criminal has access to your passwords, he is not able to log in. The third tip is to verify your emails. And I can show you this by the example that Christina received from the cyber criminal, which looks legitimate. It's a LinkedIn invitation. But if you look closer and you hover over the link, you can see in the left right corner www.oneinkedin.com. And also on the sender's email address, you can see at inkedin.com. So make it a habit to Google online the sender's email address. Be a detective like me. And in this particular example, I would like to uh, yeah, open up the LinkedIn application and verify if the invitation is in the LinkedIn app. So don't make it too easy for the cyber criminal. Because I, I alone cannot save this world. <laughs> but we together have a chance in winning this battle against cybercrime. So I hope next time when you see your house keys to lock your door, you will also lock your computer and secure it as well. Thank you.